Welcome to our channel, The Team RNRs. Today, I'm here to present about few important points on writing subtest. Before going further, let me give you a small intro about OET. What is OET? OET is Occupational English Test for Health Professionals. This test will help the candidates to work or study abroad. It has four modules, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Today, through this video, I'll give you some hints on how to write a letter that will help you in scoring B grade. So let's move into the main content of the video. Writing subtest is 45 minutes task and based on each profession, the task differs. I'm here to talk about nursing task. The grades can be scored A to E. A is the highest and E is the lowest. To work or study abroad, we must get a B grade. For some countries, it's C plus. And trust me, this is easy to score. The writing task is stipulated as five minutes and 40 minutes. In the first five minutes, you are allowed only to read the passage. Please note, you cannot touch a pen or a pencil. The candidate should read the passage carefully, understand and plan to write a letter with all relevant information and eliminate irrelevant information. For a newbie, here is the answer booklet. This is how the answer booklet looks like. As you all can see, you have to write your candidate number, the last name, first name, Please note, if you have any other names, please do mention that. Your profession, it must be nursing or it can be dentist or whichever your profession you belong to. The venue, the test date on which you are writing the test. So this is how the second page of the writing task look like. For your, your all benefit, you can download this booklet from the URL uh, which is given in the description box below and I'll, uh, I would request every candidate to at least write the writing task at least once before you go for the exam. This will give you an estimation where to start the answer and where it will end by 200 words. In case if you don't have time to count the words this will help you in estimation and you will have some idea that you have done correctly or incorrectly. So hope this will help you in practicing your writing task smoothly. Now, as you all see that this is the question booklet of the writing task and you see that there are the time is stipulated into two, which is the reading time, which will be given you for five minutes. Writing time is 40 minutes. So in this five minutes, you will have to read the task very carefully. You will plan and organize it. And then 40 minutes, you will completely take to write the task on the book, answer booklet. So now let's move into the main part of this video, which is the criteria on which you will be evaluated for the writing task. So we have five criteria. The first criteria is overall task fulfillment appropriateness of language, comprehension of stimulus, linguistic features, and the last is presentation features. Now I'll take you through each criteria one by one. Now let's move into the criteria part. The first criteria, as I mentioned earlier, overall task fulfillment. In overall task fulfillment, the first point is summarizing. As the word itself suggests, summarizing is nothing but to summarize the whole writing task into a smaller letter by using all the relevant information and eliminating the irrelevant information. Please make sure that you, you do include all the information that is needed for the treatment and care of the patient. Next is the purpose. 
purpose when you get five minutes of reading when you are reading the whole letter you will understand the main purpose of writing this letter please make sure the purpose of the letter must be in the introduction para itself that's very important then we have clear focus what what the word means clear focus the the it means that you have you will have to focus on something which is which has a relevant information now for example you have the treatment from the year 2006 2007 and the patient is already recovered from that kind of treatment or uh, from a disease which was there in 2006 or 2007 and the patient was admitted again in 2019 so just to confuse you all they might be there might be information from 2006 and 2007 you do not have to include 2006 and 2007 information you will have to take the details of the nearer one so that means the older information if if it is irrelevant you can remove that from the letter conclusion every conclusion does matter make sure when you write a conclusion it should be specific it should be to that letter the point of the conclusion is very important using own words in many of the letters I received from many of the students I have seen that they are just copy pasting the words that is in the question booklet so I will not recommend you to do that actually it is not allowed why we are writing this on a writing task is to show your ability on how to paraphrase a letter so there will be there will be let, uh, words which you will have words or sentences which you will have to paraphrase and put it in your own words so that is how your ability is seen here so this is the first criteria now let's move into the second criteria so now let's move into the second criteria of the writing task which is appropriateness of language here we it's divided into four points that is organize expression medical terminologies and reason now as a word itself suggests organize organize means that you will have to organize your paragraph in such a way that the other profession or to whom you are writing the letter should understand the letter and should be able to give the proper care and the treatment to the patient now as of today we do not have a proper format or there isn't any ma mandatory format that to, mm, format that must be maintain to write a letter but then you will have to write in such a way that it is presentable and must be understandable by the other profession to whom you are writing the letter expression expression i have mentioned it in a very uh, in a very small term but then it matters a lot now expression is that you should avoid any informal tone it should be always a formal tone it should be in such a way that it looks like a professional letter by using a style of writing now please do not use a tone as when we are talking like uh, talking to the other person make sure please make sure that you are writing a professional letter so you are not going to uh, you're not going to write a letter like as if you're going to uh, if you're writing to your colleague or to your college friend like I can give you some example uh, we may use some words like gonna so it's like for going to or wanna that is for want to so these all are very informal tone please make sure that you avoid these kind of tones and please do not include any informal SMS texting in the OET writing this will reduce your mark the next one is the medical terminology OET writing is basically for is basically that you are going to write letter to many pro, many different professions it is not necessary that you will be writing only to the charge nurse or to the community health nurse it can be to the social worker so when you are writing the letter to the charge nurse or to a nurse she or he will understand the medical technologies that you are writing that you are using but if when you are writing a letter to the social worker 
she or he will not understand the medical terminologies. So that is the reason why the OET tells you not to write or not to overuse the medical terminologies. The next point is the reason. So we all have to keep in mind that you will not add any reason from your own. You do not have to add any information from your own side or randomly. So these are some of the points which they will be checking in the appropriateness of language. Now let's move into the other criteria. The next criteria in the writing task is comprehension of stimulus. It is four parts and that is planning, relevant history, main issue and connections. Planning. Please make sure that you plan your paragraph appropriately. If you remember that we have 40 minutes in our hand so when you start before you start writing for the 15 minutes please try to plan it and then 25 minutes will be enough for you to start writing a good model okay and relevant history now as the word suggests please make sure that you include only the relevant history and it is very important that you you write the letter including you know with the today's perspective and eliminate the irrelevant or the less important details. Focus your attention on today's or the current issue. Then we have main issue. I have seen or I have corrected many letters which they tend to write so many information which is irrelevant and it hides the important or the main issue. This is the this is one of the main criteria which can reduce your marks so please make sure when you write the letter your main issue is focused the next one is the connection show clearly the connection between the information in the case note if these are made however do not add any information from your side please do not add any information with informations which is not given in the writing task so now let's move into the next criteria. The next criteria in the writing task is linguistic features. The, I have made four points here. The first one is writing. Second is verb tense, language structure and connecting words. Now when you are writing, please make sure you use the accurate language here. Please make sure your handwriting is very clear and which is understandable by the evaluator. And the verb tense which is very important please make sure you have a proper verb tense used in the sentences language structure here the evaluator is expecting us to use some kind of language structure like complex simple or compound structure can be used in the letter this will help you to bring or get good mark in the oet writing connecting words we are allowed to use some of the connecting words like moreover, therefore, however, and so on. Make sure that you do not overuse it, but then when you use it, it should be appropriate enough. And this will help us to link few words and sentences which, in, which can give you an appropriate meaning to the letter. Now let's move into the next criteria of the writing task. The last criteria or the fifth criteria of the writing task is control of presentation feature. I have four points here. Standard letter, spellings, con overall structure and correct punctuation. Standard letter, you can find that there is a format to write the referral letter. I'll be talking in detail regarding the referral letter in my next video. Now let's move into spelling. Spelling the evaluator will expect us to write the correct spellings in the letter. So I request the candidates who are planning to write their OET to start reading the journal so that their vocabulary can be enhanced and it will be easy for them to write the spelling correctly when they write the writing task. Also, it will help you when you do the reading or listening task. Now, the next, next one is the correct punctuation. Please make sure that you use the correct punctuation like commas and capital letter, where to write the small letter, where to write the capital letter 
and all next is the overall structure make sure your overall structure is the most appropriate one you will write the letter in a very clear paragraph make sure that you leave one line after each paragraph this will give you a very good structure when you write the letter in this format so that uh, with this we finish with the criteria and then now next move into the our last uh, part that is the most important thing that you will know when you write the letter here is the last session of the writing task which is the important points and i i feel that every candidate must know about these points when you are if you are planning to write the oet exam that is every letter must contain 180 to 200 words please make sure that your letter is neither below 180 nor above 200 please stick to your word limit you should have four paragraphs in your letter and each paragraph should contain 45 to 50 words and make sure that you have a topic sentence when you start the paragraph for example if you want to start a medical history please start that regarding the medical history comma then write the appropriate sentences now when you write a topic sentence make sure that you have a you have two to three supporting sentences with that so that it gives you a proper structure and it will help the reader or the evaluate to understand what you're trying to tell them or explain them through this letter so by this i have come to the end of my video so please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever I upload a new video in my YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.